In this video, I'll be showing you one of the ways we've been using ChatGPT to help with our targeting research when running YouTube ads. My name is Kyle Sellerud. I'm the CEO of AdLeg, a marketing agency that specializes in YouTube ads. And let me show you something cool. When we are researching keywords to be used for custom audiences for YouTube ads, there are lots of ways that you can do it. You brainstorm, you use the keyword planner, you can use a tool like Vid Hoarder. And the idea is to come up with all of the keywords that your target customers would be searching for in relation to what you can offer them. You then group those keywords into your custom audiences, and then you start to test those audiences to see which ones are going to work. So here is a prompt that we've been using to do this for us. I'm gonna show you a couple, there's a couple steps here. I tried to get all of this done in one prompt and it just wasn't working that well. I found that this, uh, sick, this sequence of just two prompts really gets the job done well. So here's the first prompt. I run a marketing agency that specializes in YouTube ads. Our target customers are high ticket coaches and course creators who want more leads and sales. Ideally, they have a proven funnel and offer and are looking to scale. They may be getting their customers from Facebook ads, Facebook groups, organic marketing, etc. They may also be using YouTube ads already, but it isn't working for them. So they're simply looking to work with an expert for better results. What are 50 keywords these target customers may be searching for on Google or YouTube to solve their problems? The list of 50 keywords can contain similar keywords and similar variations. For example, YouTube ads agency and best YouTube ads agency. So in this prompt, we're basically telling ChatGPT who our target customers are, what are they trying to do, uh, what are some other things that they're doing. We've also done the same thing. We'll insert like a much longer customer avatar. What are their pain points? What are they struggling with? What are their goals? All this stuff. This could be a, an extremely long prompt. In this case, I just basically summed it up for myself in this, in this prompt. Uh, but the key is we're asking what are 50 keywords these target customers may be searching for on Google or YouTube to solve their problems. And then I've seeded it with a couple of the top keywords, which um, I've also found to work really well. So then you can see the output. Uh, it actually starts uh, with the top keywords that I've seeded it with. And then it goes on to list 50 great keywords. Uh, if we were doing extensive keyword research, this is basically what we would come up with. Uh, there's nothing that I know of that's really missing from this list. Uh, now, again, we're using these keywords for custom audiences with YouTube ads. I'm not looking for like high search volume, low competition keywords. Okay, this isn't for search traffic or SEO, so I'm not worried about cost per click or anything like that. I'm just looking for what are people actually searching for? And even though ChatGPT is not linked in to Google's keyword planner, this is basically what people are searching for. These are the keywords around my offer. So now that we have these 50 keywords, the next prompt, please group these results into a table based on the theme and or user intent. Each group must have between two to 10 keywords, and there can be a different number of keywords in each group. Please create 20 groups in this table. Do not number the keywords within the table. You can also add new intent-based keywords or variation of existing keywords to each group. So I added this, each group must have between two to 10 keywords, just because, and even with this prompt, uh, sometimes it'll come up with just one keyword groups, which isn't that useful. Uh, there can be a different number of keywords in, in, in each group. Without this, I found that sometimes like every group would have three keywords or every group would have two keywords. So I've specified this and then we're telling it how many groups to create and then do not number the keywords within the table. Without this, sometimes the table would have all these keywords listed, but they'd be listed along with their original number like you see up here. Uh, so now what we're doing, we're taking these 50 keywords and we're putting them into groups for our custom audiences. And here is what it comes up with. 
Yeah, you can see uh, these are actually very good groups for custom audiences. I am going to use almost all of these. And what you can do is really just take this list here. Okay, they're already separated by commas. You can take this over to your custom audiences and paste. And there we go. Of course, you can play around with these lists too if, if you wanted to uh, you know, remove some and, and play around with the list and see what happens to the weekly impression size. Every time there's a new variation of your list, it'll be a, a different audience altogether. Uh, so we don't need to be tied into just the audiences that are here. We can still create variations within these audiences just by removing certain keywords. You see the weekly impressions have been changing, which means the size of the audience um, is also changing. But yeah, very useful tool. I'd love to know how else are you using ChatGPT for, for YouTube ads, specifically for targeting research, um, but really uh, any way that you're using ChatGPT or other AI tools to help with your YouTube ads, I would love to know. Leave a comment below and tell me. I'll continue to put out videos like this as I find different uses for AI. And you're going to want to subscribe and follow along for more. Thanks for watching this video. Again, my name is Kyle Sullerud, and I'll see you in the next video.